Edna, thank you. Five on the T and new this morning. We're getting a look behind the scenes at what it takes to keep the shuttle bus operation running smoothly as possible. Let's go back live to Katie in Copley Square. Katie, good morning. Good morning, Antoinette. You know, in the middle of Copley Square, right outside of Trinity Church, there is a mobile command center for Yankee Line. That's where we are right now. They've been working hard, obviously, now in the third week of the Orange Line shutdown. General Manager Mike Costa is joining me this morning. Mike, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having us. Let's right. talk about what this operation is. You told me you've got about 190 buses out on the roads in total. Talk about how you separate those. Yeah, so we have uh, separate routes, separate operations for both north side and south side of the orange line. Uh, definitely makes it more reasonable to manage. And each one of these parts of the routes has a mobile command center. This is the south side mobile command center. And you've got a lot of drivers. They came from all over the country. Yes, that's correct. All over the country to support this, all kind of joining together and make it happen. Talk about what we're seeing here. Uh, walk us around a little bit and, and show us how you are kind of watching this operation from this center. Yep, well, we can't do it without our team here. Uh, Jenna, Edgemere, along with a whole bunch of individuals are really making this work. It's uh, not one individual, it's several individuals. So we're live tracking all vehicles on GPS on a regular basis, um, both ADA accessible vans and buses that are running the route, make sure everybody's taken care of. We then have uh, cameras throughout the system to really provide real live images for ex actually what the stops are. So seeing the amount of people that are there, seeing how long they've been waiting, making sure that everything's flowing the way it should be, uh, working with Boston police, transit police to address certain intersections that might be a problem at the moment. This is a giant operation. You are obviously a very important part of that. How proud are you of your team so far, three weeks in? Extremely proud, um, but we are one cog in the big wheel here. Um, we are working on behalf of the MBTA, we're working on behalf of Boston, uh, really uh, working with everybody to make this happen with transit police, Boston police, and uh, we're grateful for the partnership. What's been the biggest challenge so far? Uh, the biggest challenge is really just the congestion, which is the reality of it. Trains are never going to be, our buses are never going to be as quickly as the trains are going. Um, so we're working with, uh, we're grateful for Boston Police, Transit Police to help get through those intersections. Uh, bus lanes that have been set up by the City of Boston, as well as MassDOT, have made a huge improvement to get people to where they're going to. People have been the priority here, which is a huge thing. All right, Mike Costa, General Manager of Yankee Line, giving us an inside look here at the Mobile Command Center. Doug and Antoinette, we'll send it back to you.